Hey guys, it's Halo, and today I'm gonna be doing a Madden 25 Titans rebuild. So here, let me show you the Titans roster. Here, we got Chris Johnson, one of the fastest, but also elite runner backs of all time. And then we got some some good, um, we got some pretty good. Blockers. Got the right tackle and left tackle. So our O line's pretty good, but they're also really old. So we don't know when they're gonna retire. So if we're gonna win, we need to win. We have Kendall Wright. He's good. Michael Griffin's also nice. One thing we need to work on is our quarterback. We do not want Ryan Fitzpatrick starting. I'm sorry, man, but. I mean, maybe he could have a good year, okay? Who knows? But I'm not gonna be playing much. I'm just gonna be, you know, scouting. Cause I just did a whole franchise yesterday. And I was learning how to scout players and now I think I'm all right. I don't think I'm good at it, but hopefully We'll do good in the draft because we're gonna need good players. Not very surprised we lost our first game. I mean, it's only the preseason, so it won't really matter. Taking an L won't matter until it's the regular season. And also, guys, I might play just like one game of every season. So sticking for that. Vikings are doing horrible, but it's still a preseason, so. Colts are obviously the best in their division. Let's look at the news. Old is our strong safety. We have two good ones. One is older though. The Seahawks are absolute beasts. This is remember the year the Seahawks, which is great. Those were pretty good too. AP was just starting to get good. Ed Reed was very old. Wasn't in his prime. He still was pretty good. Let's see if we can get D Hop. What? Is it because he's old? Give me D-Hawk. What do they need? Right receiver? No, they don't. A defensive tackle. Or a quarterback. We don't have that.
and a left guard and a right guard. How old is Kenny Brett though? Let me check. He's only 24. They're greedy. They're really greedy. Because he's only 24. Come on, stop being annoying. What did it say? We don't need him, he's old. I mean, like, it's the same thing for this guy. He's just gonna get older and older. So, and this is what we're gonna do. It won't let us change his position. I found that very good. Can't change his position to a strong safety. Okay, that's good. I don't want to scout until like the end of the season, so we're just gonna advance to the end of the season, I guess. We actually won a game. We're not beating the Texans. I guess they really value D Hop. I mean, they don't know if he's gonna become as good as he is or what. So, this is only 2013. They don't know how good D Hop's gonna become. I do. He's number one right, right now in offensive leaders. Carson Palmer, number one in passing yards. LaShawn McCoy, number one in rushing yards. And Larry Fitz, wow, that's unexpected. Then Alden Smith, Jordan, and Anthony Smith, so I can't tell if that's good. Let's look at the weekly awards. AJ Manuel, surprisingly, you know, he becomes a bust, so. Frank Gore still doing this. He's like 20, you know. I mean, not 28. He's in his 30s. He's old. I mean, but he didn't retire until like 40 years old. That's pretty crazy for a runner back. I don't know what took him so long. We got Troy Polamalu, Luke Keekly. We had to retire early because of injuries. Peyton Manning this year. He won MVP this year. Robert Griffin the third. He's doing good. I'm pretty sure after his rookie season, he just became bad. Vaughn Miller, he was just a beast the rest of his career. Danny Woodhead, I honestly don't remember the dude. I just remember him for looking like a skater. All right, Vincer, Levante David. This is in his second year. Big Ben. 
Frank Oregon, Brian Cushing. I did. Not surprised, but uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick's 17th in the league. But who is doing worse than him? Hopefully, he's not having a bad season. I mean, we're losing games, so he probably is. Let's see. How's he doing? He actually isn't doing that bad. This isn't good. Six passing touchdowns and five interceptions, only having one more touchdown than an interception. That is not good. But it's better than I what I thought he was going to be doing. I mean, we got Chris Johnson, so we're going to be running a lot. We should have more attempts, though. I thought he was going to be doing worse, honestly. Uh, Peyton Manning, number one, obviously. Wes Welker, Ray Rice, Alan Smith, and Anthony Spencer are still up there. He's 14th in passing yards. How is Chris Johnson 22nd in NFL rushing? You see, we need a quarterback. How good is this guy? All right. Oh, hey, wow. He's still a first rounder. But if we trade right, we can get our hands on Alex McDonald. His production is just crazy good. A B? Okay. Now what else do we need? We don't really need right receiver. I think we have that set. But if I find an absolute monster that has like 90 production, then I'm getting that. But let's look at team needs. So our quarterbacks to see, yeah, we already know we need we need a center, okay, but defense is what we need to work on. Let's try to work on getting ourselves, uh, how about a middle linebacker? Can we find a good middle linebacker? Like, late in the draft. That's the thing about scouting, you can't always get your hands on someone like Jameson Gray. It's the same face, so lazy. So darn lazy. Fucking dickhead. Alright. Fourth round, he's B overall middle linebacker. So we'll think about getting him, but we already know who our quarterback is gonna be. Hopefully he doesn't fall down in the trap. Oh yeah, we're having a horrible season, not surprised. Marshawn Lynch and Randall Cobb. This is the week we were on before. Then Wes Walker had a breakout game. Justin Tuck. Aaron Rodgers, too. Matt Wilson. Phillip Rivers. Frank Gore again. Adrian Manuel again. And Marshall Lynch. Had a crazy game. Let's 
skibbity dome. We're not even the worst in our division. The Colts are horrible. Oh yeah, guys, I also forgot to show y'all some of the team's roster, so if y'all want that, I'll show you guys it. I'll show y'all some of the other team's rosters. Like the Vikings here. Adrian Pearson. Greg Jennings. Cordell's only a rookie. He used to be, I remember, he used to be a wide receiver. Why is Jared Allen at 82? Okay. Charles Tillman. It's not Brandon Moore. Brandon Marshall. I guess. Tim Jennings. Movies. Devin Hester. Steve Dalton. Bills. Okay. AJ Manuel didn't turn out to be this good. Walker, Peyton Manning, Von Miller, Matt Purdy, Demarius Thomas, Champ Bailey, I think it's career, Ryan Brady, Orlando Franklin, a lot of good players here, Decker, Chris Harris, a young Chris Harris, before he came an absolute beast, Joe Thomas, one of the best blockers of all time, of course, Joe Hayden, another really good corner, Dwell Revis, same thing, he guard about anybody. Larry Fitz. Patrick Peterson. Rick Weddle. And Philip Rivers. Jeez, I'm not going to do everyone. Eric Fisher's having a good season. It seems. Ponce Davis. Reggie Wayne. Anton Vidya. Andrew Luck is injured. No wonder we're doing that. Andrew Luck's injured. The starter's Matt Hasselhoff. That house will like ain't even that bad. Come on, bro. Stop disrespecting me. He was always mid to me. So I can't call him bad. Mike Wallace, camera weak. Eagles. Lane Johnson as a rookie is absolutely beast mode. Deshaun McCoy, Deshaun Jackson. How's Jason Kelsey doing? So he's a 72. He still has room for improvement. Tony Gonzalez, Roddy White, Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, Richard Seymour, Patrick Willis is injured. Anthony Davis is in. Yeah, Andy Lee, Navarro, Bauman. I remember Bauman. He's not the same as Patrick Willis, not on the same level, but he's alright. Frank Gore, I don't know. See, he's 30, still doing this stuff. I don't Kaepernick, but he was good. Eli Manning. Corey Webster. Luke Trinko, I don't know who that is. Maurice Jones, Drew, up in here. Paul. Oh, Mercedes Lewis. Antonio Crazy. The Brickshaw Ferguson, San Antonio Holmes, Lenovo Johnson, Kyle Wilson, a lot of good players. Oh, they also got, where's Gino? Here's Gino Smith. And Mark Sanchez, too. Mark Sanchez is still pretty young in this game. Kevin Johnson, Sue, Reggie Bush, Nick Fairley. Stafford is injured. Wow. What's up with all these quarterbacks getting injured? Darius Slay as a rookie. Aaron Rodgers were the cops. I don't know why the cops are higher overall than Aaron Rodgers. That's Casey Hayward. Oh, where's Clay Matthews? That's disrespectful. Oh, he's injured. Okay. Still disrespectful. Cam Newton's a 92. Steve Smith! And Luke Keekly. Steve Smith! This is an old Steve Smith. Vince Wolfork. Tom Brady. Devin McCourty. Gronk. A young Gronk. Stefan Gowanski. Oh, 
white team, Michael Jennings and Jenkins. Sebastian was a beast. This team was a little bad, but they did have Matt Flynn, so. Ram, Sam Bradford. Horrible. Table at Austin. He was just injured a lot. He could have been great. Johnny Tecker. Ray Rice. Russell Tucker. They got Joe Flacco out of 91. They got was a beast at this time. John Reed. Worcester Rail sucks. That's disrespectful. Robert Griffin III. London Fletcher still in the NFL. Old eye boy. Trent Williams, a young Trent Williams. Because now he's just old as hell. Drew Brees. Jimmy Graham. Drew Evans. Richard Sherman. They got the Legion of Boom, Bobby Wagner, Camp Chancellor, Marshawn Lynch, Percy Harvin, Earl Thomas, Anton Winfield, John Ryan, Russell Wilson, Golden Tate, Brandon Bauer, Brunner. This team is just absolutely crazy, bro. Their whole team just wasn't fair. Sydney Rice. We got the Steelers, Short Paul Ball, Mike Taylor, Big Ben, Antonio Brown, I know the name. I mean, I, can, I live in Pittsburgh and grew up in Pittsburgh. Of course, I know his name is Manuel Sanders. You know, all these good players. Cameron Hayward, a young Cameron Hayward. Texans, Andre Johnson, J.J. Watt. Is he having a crazy year again? Yeah, I'd say. Yes, I guess. Brian Cushing got injured, but before that, he was going crazy. So. Ed Reed, the 85. Matt Schwab's the 82, too. David Stewart, this is our team. So I'm not gonna go over everyone. I think I already did anyway. Jerry Spurred, CJ Spiller, Stephen Gilmore, EJ Manuel, Fred Jackson, Angus AJ Green, Gino Atkins, Leon Hall, and Andrew Whitworth, Andy Dalton, Andrew Hawkins, TPO Spikes. I think I went over everyone, Adrian Pearson. And I went over the Bears too, so. Those are the rosters. Now it's time to get in this, all right? the Redskins? Damn. And, and Antonio Brown's injured again. Another position I saw we needed was it left it.
Julian Edelman's a free agent. No matter which trap it is, it's easy to find. Go to our receivers. D? Okay. We should save up the rest of our scouting points. But first, before we do that, what else do we need? I did not mean to go on there. Improve roster. See me. Back. Let's not worry about that. But some teams don't even have one. Like nowadays. I mean, we can still try and get a good fullback, but like, that's just hard. It's a hard position to find a good player. Outside line that I'm gonna keep on looking for a good left outside linebacker. I know there's one. Oh, 
I know Peyton Manning's gonna be MVP. It will pay Manning. I have no problem with him getting MVP. I can't remember this game. This prime, what they do, dude. G3. Eli, Ray Rice, Bob Wagner, Terrell Sucks. And two more trials, another good game. CJ Spiller, Patrick Willis, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Flynn had a good game. Angel Flaco, Charles Peppers, and Lacey. So Payman is MVP, right? No, it's RG3. Payman is all the way down. He's best quarterback, but he's not MVP. But I don't see that being an MVP. Maybe back in 2013, that was it. I mean, that's not bad, but MVP. Faye managers do a lot of interceptions, and not enough touchdowns. And he's no longer the number one. Ever. And uh, passing yards. Let's look at the postseason schedule Bills versus Patriots, Panthers versus 49ers, Chiefs versus Ravens. Seahawks versus Bears Divisional. Nothing to do. Who got the interception? Why well, should be like Earl Thomas? And it was. It was Richard. It wasn't Earl Thomas, but it was Richard Sherman. One of the best, maybe even the best cornerback at the time. Even if he wasn't in the 2013 season, definitely in the 2014 season. Chargers. Texans or Chargers and the Seahawks and Redskins. Wow. That is unexpected. Now let's see who won the Super Bowl. Seattle versus Texans and Houston won it. Houston beat Seattle. The Legion of Boom. Russell Wilson threw five interceptions. That is crazy. Five interceptions and one of That Schwab didn't even do anything.
Thorfinn Lich didn't even play, I guess he was injured. Arian Foster had a good game. So one to Brian Cushing, one to Ed Reed, and three to Jonathan Joseph. Wow. That's crazy. Five interceptions. Man, five interceptions. Just absolutely crazy. Hey, man, he's still trying to win over Tom Brady's legacy. Ray Lewis is coming back to the NFL. Henry, it's still balling out. Julius Peppers, peace. Charles Woodson, Adrian Peterson. Jeff Bailey. Moss, he was on our team. Adam Vinatieri. Big Ben. Chris Walker. Eli. So even though RG3 won MVP, he did not win the Super Bowl. That goes to Mash Wall for some reason. Russell Wilson only has 300 legacy, even though he led his team to the Super Bowl. I mean, he probably got carried. He kind of did. Because, like, he has a crazy defense. He has good right receiving core. The best cornerbacks in the league. Like the best cornerback in the league. His team is just absolutely crazy. And knowing that from this point on, they could only get better is crazier. So I, I was kind of surprised they lost this. So we trade Nate Washington. Look at this stack team, bro. 38 year old, 38 year old quarterback. This team is just stacked. Champ Bailey. This is an old Champ Bailey. All these teams are stacked. Darrell Rebus, he's old enough. It's an old Darrell Rebus, but it's still Darrell Rebus. Walter David. Larry Fitz. But that's besides the point. We're looking for a team like the Chiefs. Let's go! Do 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 do
he's our guy. I didn't mean to use all them scouting points, but he's our guy. Texans won the Super Bowl and I guess so. Well, they only had a bad season because Andrew Luck got hurt. I don't know how long he got hurt. Like maybe he lost a few games and it just wasn't a season, but he got hurt. He was injured. Why is it not letting me move? So what does Adam Schefter think of Purdue's Drake Reed being selected? I'll tell you. Boilermaker's corner of Drake Reed's final two college seasons were so far beyond exceptional that no one is surprised to hear draft experts like Todd McShay and North next great NFL cornerback. Watch nearly any of his games, and the comparisons to Darrell Rivas and Champ Bailey make perfect sense. He's had a handful of off games, but he has a short memory, which makes him such a great player. This team just drafted a cornerback who's going to be special for the next 10 to 15 seasons. Alex McDermott, who he's who we're drafting. So why don't we just get this quarter? How old is he? 23. This guy's 21. The Jets are now on the clock. Now let's go to Adam Schefter for more on Jakeenan Kelly out of the U. Uh, hopefully our quarterback didn't get drafted. Jakeenan Kelly's insistence Please. on training for the next Olympics. Let's go. Wait, did he? One of the NFL's did he get drafted? Players working on getting faster. Kelly isn't only speed. Yeah, he got drafted. No. If ever there was one. Kelly has he was the so hands of a good. wide receiver and rare he got instincts. Drafted, Better man. yet, he's a leader on That's the field. Don't so so wonder you want the player of the year as a junior. If Kelly can get the football of the Olympics, he could be a Pro Bowl player he was a for the next player. decade. Hey, Adam, what more can you tell us about this player? Quarterback Alex McDermott was a junior college transfer that, that exceeded expectations at Washington, making the Huskies instant contenders with his great footwork and ability to put the ball in any spot. Some scouts pin his success on being in such a quarterback-friendly system, and I've talked to a few experts that believe he'll struggle to adjust to more complex defenses in the NFL. This team saw enough after meeting with him to take a shot. Is he a one-hit wonder, or can he become a great NFL quarterback? Soon enough, we'll find out. For the latest on Georgia Tech's Darrell Wheeler, here's Adam Schefter. Georgia Tech fullback Darrell Wheeler is about as versatile as they come. He's a great blocker and an even better runner. At the combine, he worked out with the tight ends, and the next thing you know, he's telling coaches that he's interested in playing tight end in the NFL. This team has a hard-nosed, lunch pail player who's going to succeed no matter what position he plays. Nice pick. And now here's Adam Schefter with more on this latest pick. Texas Tech quarterback Drew Alexander made all kinds of waves when he was only the second player ever to win the Heisman Trophy as a freshman, even though he did have the advantage of being redshirted in year one. Fast forward to his sophomore year, and the wheels came off. 
all the attention that Alexander struggled to focus on the game, and when it came time for the combine, he just didn't look ready. This team thinks it's just a maturity issue, and with time, he'll be the star everyone thinks he could have been. The I'm Jets are it. now on the clock. Let's see how good our plays. Our runner back is really good. Our route receiver was a little worse than I thought. He was still asleep. And our center was hurt. I mean, I did draft them. But like, I didn't even scout them. It. it was just a risk. And, you know, sometimes you just gotta take risk. At least we got Drew Alexander. But, where's the quarterback we were trying to get? This guy's nice. Alex McDermott, there he is. He's who we tried to get, bro. He's a 83 overall. That would have been so good if we got him, bro. But we didn't. I mean, his grade went down, so I thought that his draft level would go down. Like, he got drafted in the first round. He was supposed to get drafted in the second. I should have just drafted him early, though. Because he was really good. Even though this is the preseason, we're doing great. We need a raw rookie to get as much experience as he can get. We got more so Reese. We got a really good fullback, so that's nice. Like I said, you want your rookies to get as much playtime as they can get. I'm not gonna give him too much playtime. He could be a fourth string. I just thought his overall was his physical for a second, so I got tricked. But...
shots and it's still kind of young. Guys, before the season starts, I'm gonna go for a second, so peace out. Back guys. Oh, oh, roll, oh, oh, roll. Broncos got Brett Ray Lewis. That's not even fair. Let's see how our first week is. Come on, come on. Come on. Can we do good? Can we get a win? And we don't. No problem. Just have to do better. Let's go back to improve roster and look at our team names. And our left court. And our defense. Still a middle one back there.
so we're 0 and 2 right now. I about check how our team is doing and how everyone else in the NFL is doing in just a second. Right after we have ends this week. So our quarterback is 30th in the NFL passing yards. How is he doing so bad? Chris Johnson is 18th in Russia. Alex Smith, number one in passing, Adrian Peterson, number one in Russia, and then this one number one in Russia. Okay, Juan Miller. An interception, too. Red Lewis had a pretty good game. Ray Rice, Adrian Rogers. Antonio Brown. Ah, right, guys, I got good here for a second. I got used to that one. Oh and three, no, I guess three and oh six. Yeah, I don't think the reason's high. Sure breeze there for a long time though. And then it fell. Like Brady. Brady just stayed for super long. But so does Drew Brees. He didn't retire until, uh, like the 2020 season. And he was drafted in 2001. So a long time he played a sport.
DJ Mando, Levante David. Oh, the Lumberjacks are a new team. That could be your team. DJ Mando got a good game. That was a college team. I don't know. I didn't think they were going to make a new team that quick, but they did. He had a really good game, though. A sack, 11 tackles, and an interception, and a touchdown. Sean McCoy had a B skin and AJ Green. I don't know the other two dudes, so I'm not going to say anything. Alfred Morris is having a good season. Yo, yeah, we're the worst in our division. We went from second worst in our division to worst. Now, look how we just win a game with Ryan Fitzpatrick. I just wanted to get on rookie and on the game. Jay Cullors doing worse than Ron Fitzpatrick. So far, Ron Fitzpatrick ain't doing bad, so. The reason, I'ma just use Pete Carroll's game. Cause what Pete Carroll does, he runs a lot since he has Marshawn and everything. But he'll, he'll throw a couple passes. Like usually his rental back will get like a thousand four hundred or a thousand five hundred rushing yards. His quarterbacks get three thousand passing yards.
loves Drake. The NFL really does love Drake. How did he get all that legacy? He got more legacy than Peyton Manning in this whole franchise. I'm not sure he didn't do it. Eli Brady. They ride his bike. They ride Tom Brady's bike. It said it was gonna be projected a second round, so it wasn't really my fault, but it was just hey. a we really wanted and I didn't get on. are two and ten. Wow. We're the second best in our division. We went from the worst to the second best in our division. We just have to start winning games if we want to make the playoffs. We have to win these two games. Yeah, we're not making the playoffs. Oh well. It don't even matter no more. I'm at three games for us. Just for you guys, I'm gonna go back to the rosters and show y'all the overalls in the year two. The raw receiver got way better in the right. And Marcel Reese, he's getting old, so. Rookie receiver. Oh, he's not a rookie anymore. Hey, 
Adrian Peterson's injured again. Well, they got Golden Tate. They got two really good rookies. Uh, these are from last year. I don't know what's going on, but okay. They ain't even star Alex McDermott. I think Dolan's getting good. They have like three Hall of Famers on their team, bro. Mitchell Schwartz. Johnson. Probably a lot of 12 sets and he's the best player on the team. Julio's injured. Well, they got Chris Harris. Colin Kaepernick. Eric Reed. Hector Cruz. Eli. The Lumberjacks. Why the Buccaneers become the Lumberjacks? Okay. Just gonna ignore that. Fat Eddie. How did Cam do this season? Wow. Why is Cam always doing bad? The first season, he actually did good, though. 22 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 2,000 plus games. Then this season, he just takes a big step back.
Yeah. Ah. Uh, Alright, guys, I'm a good kid. 